Hey guys, and welcome back to Route 1. I'm Jay. I'm Brad. This is Brad Tuskinton. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. I like that one. I don't know where <laughs> I got Tuskinton from, but oh well. Um, yeah, we're doing something a little bit different today. Obviously, Pokemon Celebrations, the big 25th anniversary, is coming out in October. So, obviously, Jack didn't want to be a part of this because he wants to be spoiler free. So, what me and Joey are going to do, or Brad Tuskinton, uh, we're going to basically look at some of the leaks and uh, basically all the cards that have been, or most of the cards that have been revealed thus far. Because um, these look great, don't they? They look absolutely amazing. Well, it's the first time we're doing this, and we're just going to ramble as much as we want and just talk about the new cards coming out. Yeah, just a little bit of fun, just seeing what we got, seeing what we're going to play with, seeing what we're going to collect. Yeah, exactly. And you, like, this is the first time you've looked at a new set coming out, haven't you, Joey? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm never really that interested, to be honest, but because it's the 25th, and also because they're bringing back old school cards, it's, it's a pretty cool situation, isn't it? Yeah. So, as you can see here from the, from the screen, there's a main set, and then there's a special subset. I don't know what the special subset means, uh, but I, I suppose it's like secret rares in a normal set coming out, like that comes out. There's like, this is a tiny set as well. There's like 25 Pokemon cards in the main set, but it's 50 cards in total. So like with any Pokemon set, you have a certain number, say 79 out of 79 cards. And then you got like 80 out of 79 and 90 out of 79, which are like secret, which are secret rares. And I so assume... So there's only 25 available? Or has it only been so 25? It's, it's 50 cards in total. What, that, that, that's what they're saying. 50 cards in total, but 25 are part of the main set. And they haven't revealed all 25 yet. But the special yeah. subset that you can see, I believe that's going to be like the, the secret rares but nice obviously from from what we've seen so far they're bringing it back to the base set the original base set with your with venusaur blastoise and obviously the chase card for this set is going to be the base set charizard be be sounds good sounds fun so the main base so, set charizard the, yeah the main the main set um, they are completely new designs, and the subset is like your base set Charizard, the same design, just with the 25th anniversary logo, and not having... Yeah, they've all got it, haven't they? They've all got the logo. I'm yeah, pretty they... sure the McDonald's ones had them as well, right? Yeah, yeah, the same logos they've done for the McDonald's promos um, a couple of months back. So, um, might, might as well show you the, the cars that they've got. Oh, they look so uh, the products we're gonna have a look. I'm gonna do a video at some point in the future, but we're, so we're just looking nice. at the car. We're just looking at the cars today. Yeah, these are the promo cars that are coming out. Uh, tell you what, let, let me just read from the top. Should have done that in the first place, but there you go. Below is a list of cards believed to comprise of our 25th anniversary TCG mini set celebrations when it releases on October 8th, 2021. As this is largely educated guesswork, there will, there will inevitably be differences between what appears below and the actual set list. This set's legality status is currently unknown. Because obviously, as a recording, we're only in August, where, like when we're recording this. So we've got you know, two more months before obviously more information comes out, but this is the information that we've got so far. The main set is, as you can see, we have Ho-Oh, Palkia, Kyogre, Pikachu, Surfing Pikachu V, Surfing Pikachu V Max, Flying Pikachu V, Flying Pikachu V Max, there's a Mew, Zekrom, Zekrom, Xerneas, Cosmog, Cosmoan, Groudon, Yveltal, or Yveltal, Dialga, Zacian, Zamazenta, and Lugia. Now, from those, the main set, Joey, what are your thoughts on, on those cards? I'm excited for Mew, Lugia, and Pikachu. I like my Pikachus. So there's a couple of different Pikachus in this set. 
Um, yeah, flying Pikachu. That's the one with his balloons. Serpent yeah, Pikachu so like the Serpent Pikachu board. and the like flying Pikachu. You've seen those cards before in the past, haven't you? I'm, I'm yeah, guessing. old school though, aren't they? They're yeah, like, they're, they're very, they're like very, they're very, very old school. I think. Uh, well, I, I, I might be wrong um, in saying that they're old school. I think they came out when Pokemon Evolutions came out. So you know when they done the reprint of the base set for Evolutions. Yeah. Um, I think so, they so is those this... cards in. So there's not going to be any more than that. That's that's all of them. Basically, basically like the Surfer Pikachu and the Flying Pikachu's, they've updated the designs to look like more mod more the cards that are coming out now. So yeah, see, yeah, they're in the wrong. Okay, this is the Japanese version. Oh, look but, at that. Yeah, so that's Pikachu V Max. I believe that's going to be on one of the promo cards. Uh, so that's not yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. that's not flying Pikachu, uh, but obviously you can see it's like V Max or G Max because of the um, you know giant electrical tail electrical tail, but, and obviously like um, Pikachu V Max is already out, but it's the chunky Pikachu. Yeah, it's a big boy. Yeah, and this one's a lot slimmer to you know more of a Monday Pikachu. Uh, let's see. That is a dope card, to be fair. Yeah, so that that was the this the original Pikachu Chunkachu Pikachu. Oh V-Max. yeah, I that, see what that, they're doing. Yeah, yeah so they out, just came out for vivid vivid voltage. That's a sick picture. That's so sick. Here we go. Right here we go. Yeah. So uh, this, nice. So as you can see here, the pop card on the left, that's the. Um, the surfing Pikachu redesigned for modern day. Yeah, and then in the middle, that's sick. you've got the surfing Pikachu V Max, and you can you can sort of see on the on the V Max card how tiny that looks like like a cruise liner is, is next yeah. to it. <laughs> that's and sick. Then that's you, can, dope. you can compare it to the, the original card. And Keeping that the, same standard art style, though, isn't it? That that so shaded. Yeah, look. exactly. So yeah, that's oh the yeah, flying, that looks dope. Pikachu V. Again, still a very chunky boy in these designs, but obviously, as I said, yeah. updated for the 25th anniversary. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? Kind of. Here we go. Here's the VMAX. Look at that. On, on the right there. <laughs> I love how they keep putting him with uh, with transportation to show you how big yeah. he is. <laughs> to show how, how wham and hench this, this Pikachu is. <laughs> I also love that he's still being held up by balloons. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more, a lot more, a lot more balloons though. Yeah. But I, I can imagine because obviously this is the Japanese design for the, the cars coming out. Ours would be a little bit different. Like we won't have the like the twenty fifth. You know that, that's the Japanese version. Ours is still the yeah. Pikachu, we'll have the Pikachu, Pikachu with the twenty five logo on. Yeah, yeah. But it's basically the same I- idea. So yeah. Yeah. That, really that's, cool. That's the uh, that that's the. The flying Pikachu V and V Max, and the seven Pikachu V and V Max. All right, since, since I came up to it before, let's talk about the Golden Mew, the shiny Golden Mew card. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, as, that's, as, it, as you can I'm... see on the bottom left, it's got twenty-five out of twenty-five, so that is part of the main set. Oh okay. Oh, that looks so good. It looks so good, doesn't it? Is that the th- is that the is that the one you're wanting to get? Is that the is that the big boy that's, of the set? I think that's one of the chase cards. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a shiny Mew. It's it's definitely going to be a card you want to get. But to be honest, all the cards coming out for the 25th anniversary, they all look so nice. Yeah. yeah and you, do, usually with gold cards, they're not part of the main set. When when sets come out, they're part like they're you know part of like the secret cards afterwards. So the numbers after fifty out of twenty five rather than twenty five out of twenty five. And I don't think they've ever done a shiny gold Pokemon card. They've done gold cards before, but they they I, I don't think. And feel free to correct me in the comments. I don't know if there has been a shiny gold card before. That's interesting. It looks so sexy, doesn't it? It does. It looks incredible. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I'm going to be looking for. I did come across this. 
This is the Japanese version. Yeah, it's oh. the uh, old school design as well, isn't it? Yeah, the old school design. It'll be the exact same for the Venusaur and for the Charizard. Um, but With the gold the... border as well. Also, um, I'm not sure if you've seen some of the videos that have come out recently. Mac, Mac Cully. Um, yeah, I've been watching them. I've been watching yeah. them. Yeah. Um, so if you notice, for example, here, the, the hollow pattern on the Mew, Mewtwo EX, it's the same type of hollow pattern that they used for the McDonald's 25th uh, anniversary yeah, promo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Um, I, see. I think it's it's quite a controversial hollow because it, it looks so much like if you ever collected cards when you were a kid and someone will try to give you a fake Pokemon card. That looks like hollow pattern. Yeah. They they would give you. But also um, you can sort of see as well as the hollow pattern itself, the cards are also textured. Yeah, I've done, yeah. They they mentioned that they they've not done textured for years. But they bring it back. Yeah, so it's um, it's quite a mix of not. So obviously, when you look at the, when you look at the cards up close, when you finally get them in person, obviously you move it about. You see the hollow pattern, but then like obviously you move it about, and you actually see the fading with the textures as well, and they look really really nice. I find it really cool that they've put the movie Mewtwo in. Which, which, that's the movie one. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's got to be. That doesn't look like... Uh, it looks like the live-action Mewtwo. Oh, and also, the the special subset for anyone who plays the TCG, those I've heard are not playable. Because, oh, okay. So because the, mo the moves on the cards, I believe they're the same moves, not tournament legal, basically. Yeah, fair So enough. they're sense. pretty much just, just there for collectors. But the main set, those are tournament legal, I believe. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. So, That'd be good for Jack. He likes his fighting, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He does. Um, all right, let's talk about the, the, the promo cards coming out, as you can see here. Um, promo, so, promos are the one that's on the box, right? Yes. I'll be talking. I'll probably be talking a lot more in depth about this when I talk about the products. But they're bringing back old Pokemon types with cards. So, like... Um, Light and dark. Oh god, that's a really small picture. That is a really light, small light and dark Pokemon that came out a long time ago. Um, the same with like level X's, Mim uh, Mimikyu's. Oh yeah, uh, dark. Oh yeah, dark one. Yeah, that's star dope. Pokemon. I think it's really cool to include more of the modern day Pokemon as these as promos. It just makes because like usually promo cards. But over the last couple of years, they've not been amazing. Some of them have been fantastic, but it's nice to see them bring back old designs for a Monday audience with the promo cards. Oh, old themes, yeah. Old yeah. themes that are, are pretty much extinct now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I'm not sure. It, I don't think the pro, I don't know if promo cards in general are tournament legal. And I'm not sure if these new promo cards will be as as well. But I think it's just a cool design, creative choice that they've decided to go yeah. to go for. And you can also see like the, the dark Sylveon V card there on the left. Dark cards, you know, they've been around since um, Team Rocket, and then they came out I think for the next generation after that. They've not really done any dark or light Pokemon in a, in a while. The Mimikyu here is a prime. Um, that Mimikyu looks awesome. It does. It looks like it's in looks like it's in like Glimwood Tangle from Sword and Shield. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, all well, them very beautiful. Uh... Yeah, I really love the light tox toxicity card. With like, you can see like little. You uh, love toxicity, don't you? Yeah, like it's it's one of my f favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield and all time. Really, it's such a you note. Know, like playing it, it's super OP because like you know you got your mix of poison, a unique poison and electric, but. And yeah. also, I'm I'm a, I'm I love rock music and pop pop music, and to see like a Pokemon that is like a, a that, rocker that encapsulates yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, I'm not sure how you feel about a Pokemon that's standing on. Like, you're not a fan of Pokemon that's standing on its two legs, apart from a couple. No, well, I mean, the ones that look like animals is fine, but the one that the ones that look like people annoy me. You know, like Lucario looks awesome. Charizard yeah. looks awesome, but because they're based off animals. But whereas Cinderace. Get the get the f off. <laughs> I'd imagine you feel the <laughs> well, same we... with, with toxicity as well. No, I don't mind toxicity because he looks like a, a a lizard. You know what I mean? He just looks like a lizard. Yeah. Whereas 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 Cinderace just looks like a football player. He's wearing clothes. 
and he's wearing shorts, and it's like, can you just, just leave, just go? And it's the same with Fennekin's last evolution, I can't remember what the name is, but he just looks like a wizard. It's, it's got a cape and everything, I hate it. But yeah, um, but yeah going back to that uh, light toxicity card, like it looks so nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's like, I said, nice. like you see the little oddishes before. It looks like he's like, yeah, there's a li little musical chord, play uh, into mu him. musical symbols there. So he's like, he's playing his chest, like performing for the odd oddishes. It's, it's, I think it's a, a dying art that those type of designs because they were very old school, those designs. Yeah, and I'm happy to see they're bringing it back. Yeah, uh, yeah. Really so, like, yeah, below here, you got Hydreigon C and Station Level X. I am kind of familiar with the Level X cards, uh, but the C cards, I'm not too sure, or the, the symbol cards, I'm not too sure what they mean. I collected, like, Generation 1 Pokemon cards, and then when it came to the next generation, I kind of fell off. So, yeah. there's a lot of cards I missed out on, and I only know from some of them because I'm in my Alakazam set, I'm collecting for Alakazam through the generations. So, like, that's how I. I, I know of some of these cards. All these are all these are promo cards, and I've had a look at all the Pokemon products coming out for the 25th anniversary, and I will be getting every single one of them. Every single one. Every single one. I say that with a slight tear. 100 percent certainty. From yeah. my bank account. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna go get some of the the boxes. Uh, I just I'm just I'm just a bit upset that there's only 50. You know what I mean? True, but I think. Because it's, it's a special set. I'm happy that it's, it's 50 in total cards, plus your promo cards. So that'll probably be altogether maybe like 60, 65 cards in total from this set, including the and promo you can't, cards. And you can't find the promo cards in the set, can you? So you can't open up the card deck. Yeah, the only way to get the promo cards is either to buy them. Is getting the promo box. Yeah, is, is to get the, the, the Pokemon products with the promo cards in or wait a little bit of time and buy the cards individually off eBay. They don't come, they don't come in the packs. This here, that's going to be... I the, love the, that. I love it. It's yeah. so good. And yeah, like the, the design's going to be the same for every single Pokemon pack. I believe because it's a small set, you don't get 10 cards like you usually do. As you can see on the packaging there, you get four cards in each pack. You get four per pack. Oh yeah, my lord! But I I believe that they are all holographic. That's another reason. Another reason why there's only four is because it's such, such a small set. I'm guessing um, be super cheap to get them then as well. They are. I believe they are normal retail price. Yeah. If you have a look here, this is the like the Japanese version. <laughs> It's so extra, I love it. But I really like the simplicity of the 25th anniversary, the design of the, the pack as well, because you can you can see like the outlines of the starters are on the on the back as the background as well. The sets coming out, you get like four to five different designs for each for the packs. Whereas like for the 25th anniversary, it looks like it's just yeah, it's just this. one, yeah, it's just that one pack, which it, I like. I like that. It makes it makes it different, man. I like that. I really like that. Oh, are these them? Are these the ones? These oh. are the ones. So you see oh, there. God, look at that Charizard. Um, yeah, it's quite blurred, but so you know, it's the exact, it's the exact same design as base set, just with the, the McDonald's promo holofoil and the 25th anniversary. And it also it doesn't have wizards at the bottom because obviously back then they were made by wizards of the coast. Yeah, yeah, and, no, uh, yeah. It's, no, it's not. Uh, well, yeah, you got shining your... magic carp as well, bro. Shining oh. magic carp, and also there's a shining Gyarados as well. Oh, is there? Um, is there? Red yeah. Gyarados? Um, yeah, you can see at the top what's, there, what's... like, there's Mega Rayquaza, Rayqua Quasar, EX. What's the difference, though? I'm trying to look at the difference. Between what? The three cards at the top, or is that just three cards, or are they something different? I think they're just the exact same cards. <laughs> they just rolled out together, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. That Charizard looks so... Mate, you, you'd just panic, wouldn't you, if you got the Charizard? I know it's not worth that much, you know, nothing compared to what it's worth years ago but it'll still be a little hot pump moment wouldn't it yeah to, ha to have a version of base set charizard like if you pack that it's just going to feel so good it's going to be bring back so much nostalgia uh so the, is the base set venusaur and blastoise the same as well they are the same yet yeah. i'll scroll through this video because i was having a look oh i saw it yeah, yeah. there we go so obviously this is a japanese That's version so again but yeah, yeah the, the same exact same designs that's so cool. So sick. And they're all holographic. Yeah, they are. All yeah. holographic, yeah. 
Yeah, they're, they're all they're all holographic, which is an, another reason why I guess this set is so small. Is because because you don't get many hot like not every card in normal sets holographic, is it? You get your no, your... no. It's like every like every like just one or two, isn't it? Yeah. And there's, no, there's no there's no reverse hollows in this set either. It's it's all holographic from what I believe. And also, because this set is so small, it makes people like myself that, you know, aren't big Pokemon YouTubers to yeah, be potentially to get doubles collect, of yeah. the entire set and send it off to PSA and have every single card in a slab. Now imagine how like, Yeah, that makes that, sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It just it just gives everyone a chance. Oh, there's a uh, there's Palkia as well. You can't see the whole oh, pattern, but Palkia. it is hollow as well. Pokemon. So that's that's one of the new cards coming out, part of the main set for, for the celebrations. Yeah, Palkia looks awesome. There's L Lugia. Lugia. You got your evolutions. Looks good. Your Lugia. Uh, your Wyveltal. Oh, Wyveil. So you also get two different Groudons and Kyogres. You get just a sta like standard a Groudon and Kyogre, but you also get Team Magma's Groudon and Team Aqua's Kyogre. Oh, nice, nice. Um, yeah, yeah, you see sick. there, uh, Ho-Oh. So the Ho-Oh and Lugia have the same type of background, so it looks like they're kind of doing a, you know, like a classic pose together, like back to back, when you, like, when you yeah. see them next yeah. to each other. That's sick. <laughs> That's so sick. Uh, so yeah, Don Fan Reshiram there looks like um like a like a stone carving. He does. He looks look dope. Groudon. Yeah, Groudon, Kyogre. So Gyarados. Look. Yeah, your Dark Gyarados. Your uh, Rocket Zapdos looks like there or something Zapdos. Oh god, they're looking they're looking fire. Yeah, here comes Team Rocket again. Jesse and James are back for 20th anniversary. You've got Dialga. I wouldn't be surprised if they have Arceus because they haven't announced all the yeah, cards Arceus. yet. Yeah, Arceus. Yeah, yeah. Some of them haven't been announced yet, have they? No, there's still cards yet to be revealed. I, like either Arceus, right, or, or Dark, right, or both. I could imagine, like, or both. Yeah, I could imagine because you know Gen 4's coming out, it would make sense for one of them at least. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, so they actually do. Yeah. Sit together. That's awesome. But annoyingly, <laughs> they're not like one after the other in the set numbers. So if, if you, oh, can, not. Oh, no. you can see on the bottom left of each of the cards, um, Ho Ho is one out of 25 and Lugia is 22 out of 25. So if you're going to have them in the binder. So far away. Yeah. But those two cards, I think, are excellent to get graded and put in slabs yeah. and put next to each other. They look great. They look so good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's, there it's it is. Look, look, what a babe. Spitting some hot fire. Yeah. Oh, there's a Pikachu in uh, English. Oh, there's the English version. Looking good, isn't it? Does that look like a... a I'm not sure if that's just a holographic, but does that look like a Pokemon behind Pikachu there? Yeah, like Meryl or something. It might be Bubbles. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe it's, maybe it's just a cloud. Meryl or Bubbles, yeah. So yeah, yeah, once, once again, there, man. very crappy, like, photo taken, but yeah, birthday surprise Pikachu holographic there. Cosmo and again, all these are holographic, but from from the pictures, they don't. They just like normal stuff, like non holographic cards. But they have said that it is a uh, holographic. Xerneas. Oh, look at Xerneas! Oh my god, that art is sick, isn't it? That art is. There's really your like... there's your that's your standard grad on, not your Team Magma grad on, but you have your members of Team Magma in there as well. And obviously, we don't play the TCG. We don't know if these attacks on the cards are good yeah that's a uh, no, that's jack's, that's a that's jack jack's department when we start opening them i'm sure jack will let us know absolutely and the thing is because it's a small <laughs> set and they're all holographic i'm going to take my time opening these cards you want to appreciate the artwork and the, ho the hollow pattern and just yeah cel celebrate the 25th Vast anniversary the nice glory. and slow yeah, yeah there's I your home there's your lugia lugia that's a better Pikachu. Pikachu. Look, 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 it's, uh, it's, it's crossed out. It's crossed out? His, his name, his name, look, look at his name, it's like, look at name on his Pikachu. Yeah, so that, I believe it was given out ages ago, like maybe for competition winners. So you could write your name, because it's, uh -huh. not, it's not Pikachu's birthday, it's your birthday. That's but it's, it. it's Pikachu yeah, giving it. you a birthday, birthday cake. So obviously if you're a kid, you just write your name in. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Here we go, it's a good example. The same hollow... Is that uh, the McDonald's one? 
Yeah, so on the, on the left is the McDonald's Pikachu hollow that's a foil. Nice, that's a nice card that is, isn't it? I don't think um, I saw that. It's just to show it's the same hollow foil that they've used for all the new cards. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice looking. I like that Pikachu, man. That, 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 that Mackie's one. There's your uh, Clay Doll as well. Is Claydol like a, a semi pseudo legendary? I don't think so. So I do wonder, really? like, I what was know. like Pokemon like Ho Ho or Lugia? I get why they've put into this into the set, but Claydol is um, got nothing against Claydol. Yeah, just a it's random, just a, yeah. yeah, just a random Pokemon, isn't it? It's like putting Rapidash in, isn't it? It's like, yeah, but why? There you go, your dark, your dark Gyarados. Oh, look at that. I'm guessing the purple behind him is the hollow. Yes, because obviously these pictures taken, they're not the best pictures. They don't show up the cards really well, but it's just give you an idea of what they're going to look like. Yeah, it looks so cool, right? Yeah, look at that. That artwork is so old school, isn't it? As I said, you don't really get that much artwork like this anymore. Yeah, you can kind of see the, the hollow pattern on the Rockets admin, like around the edges as well. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the English version. Beautiful. Jibori. Absolutely beautiful. Look at it. Hey, I want it. I want it. <laughs> if you also if you also notice as well, they have they don't have out of twenty five here. It's the original set numbers, and I think that's what's confusing for for, uh, for people because obviously this. Yeah, I guess be... you gotta just wait, right? You just gotta wait until they're all out to really judge it off. Maybe they're just not included in the set. Maybe they're just other cards that you can get. It's because they're, they're basically cards that have the exact the exact same cards from previous sets that have just been picked. Yeah, out they've and... been just reprinted, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was uh, Xerneas EX. Uh, that is a beautiful card, isn't it? Yeah, it's part of the, the classic set. I love the, the EX is... cards. Like A lot of the EX cards are really nice. Bloody nice. Yeah, that, that one just got an extra bit of sauce to it, isn't it? It looks so yeah. good. And then you've got your uh, Hollow Luxray. I've seen before. Oh, yeah, look at this. This Oh, yeah. Full yeah. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely beautiful. These are good. these are looking sick, aren't they? They are. Uh, when are they looking, up for pre-order? You can stop pre-ordering. Anyone out there, you can stop pre-ordering 25th anniversary products now um, at your local game shops. No, I'm not saying like go to game, like the actual game shop, but like you know places, places <laughs> that you can you can buy Pokemon products from or trading cards. Sponsored from. by game. All your like card shops, they are taking pre-orders in, so you can't you can't. I'm gonna have a look at Smiths now. now and see how much they are. See how much I'll set you back. Uh, there's another one, uh, quite a more recent one, Tapu Lele GX. Apparently this was quite an o OP card to use when it, like playing in tournaments. So the Elite Trainer Box, right, celebrations, costs £52. Is that for the, the ETB? This one. Yeah, ETB, yeah. Oh, it's in the uh, Premium Box. Yes. Yeah, oh, I think that that's going for like 110, 115 pounds retail. Obviously, it depends. 150 depends, in Smiths. Yeah, depend depends where depends where you're going. Let's see, is there any more? Oh, here we go. Yeah, closer look on the shining Magikarp. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is, that is a good looking. That is a good looking pick. And there's your Team Magma. Uh, Groudon. Team Groudon. Oh yeah, you got that little logo at the bottom. There's your Mega Mega Rayquaza, EX. And then, of course, the, the Charizard your boy as well. Charizard. I think it's good to let everyone know they're going to print so much of this. So don't be afraid if you can't get certain pre-orders. But, you know, if you if you do want to start looking to pre-order, then go ahead and do it. I, yeah, I am happy, really like, ETB, ETBs really. are not going to be, like, over six like £60 pounds or so, like they were a couple of months back when Pokemon was at the hype that it was. Yeah, so as you see here from the, from the main set, that's... What we what we're seeing, um, that's yeah, what we've had to look at today. But they're, they're not all been announced yet, have they? No, because as you can see here, yeah, they've only announced 19 cards. But they've still got another six to announce or to reveal, shall I say? I'm incredibly looking forward to this, but I'm playing it smart at the same time. At, at least I'm trying. <laughs> While at least spending I'm trying a fortune, to, I'm, tr I'm trying to yeah. be. I'm yeah. trying to be. <laughs> but what, what I'm are, buying everything twice. Yeah. <laughs> What are your thoughts of celebrations? I, I like it. I'm 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 excited for celebrations and evolution, right? Just because of the the art style and evolution, I absolutely love. 
celebrations is exciting because of you know just all old cards coming back and all new cards getting an upgrade um, absolutely everything's looking pretty swish everything's looking pretty swish isn't it is there anything you're liking the look of apart from the etb and the ultra premium one not really i think i think for me i, I stay with the etb and premiums yeah um everything else you know it's, it's the collector's set isn't it i guess it's like a you know, if you want a, if you want a certain card, go in and see. But how many cards? How many packs of cards do you get in the ETB? It says here, product contents: ten celebrations booster packs, five additional Pokemon TCG booster packs. They haven't said what booster packs from what sets. One special foil card featuring Greninja Gold Star. 65 anniversary themed card sleeves, 45 energy cards, a player's guide to sell the celebrations expansion, a Pokemon TCG rulebook, six damage counter dice, one competition legal uh, coin flip die, and two acrylic condition markers. So, so you get quite a bit. You get quite a bit. You you know you get your standard stuff in in, in the CTB like you do with any other ETB, but. Yeah. You'll, yeah, you also get your Greninja Foil Gold Star, as well as 15 packs. 10 of Celebrations and 5 of whatever other packs. So, do, you think, do you think Evolutions will be in it? Possibly. I mean, why not? Like, who can tell? Or maybe it's going to be, like, a pack from every single set of Sword and Shield. Who knows? They, haven't, cool. they haven't announced That'd that yet. Cool. We'll obviously get Jack's thoughts when we open up the products. Yeah, but yeah, he, he won't be uh... avoiding it like landmines. That, like, he's on tiptoes on the internet for the next two months trying yeah, to avoid spoilers yeah, although, jo although Joey did uh, spoil the, the gold straight away golden Mew straight Jack. away he was straight there. away didn't he even flinch happy. but we're not didn't even flinch yeah <laughs> we're not showing him anything else when the full set comes out and we can get some proper we can get a, we can get a proper look at the at the full set at the full Cut, uh, reveal of the cards coming out in this set. I think we'll do another video. Why not? Is there anything else you'd want to say, Joe, before we before we end it? That's it for me, man. That's it. All right. So if you're looking forward to celebrations as much as we are, say what's your favourite card coming out for celebrations? There's plenty to or choose. Or what from. would you want to come out? Ooh. Yeah. There's still a couple of cards that haven't been announced yet, or haven't been leaked. Let us know what you would expect, and also what card you're looking forward to the most. But that is it from us. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time on Route 1. Peace. Hell yeah.